Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome this to Train Sim World 3. Oh, here hello. you can learn about how to navigate and interact with the world as well as how to operate the many trains. San that sounds very good, Sharon. Let's start by looking around. Yes. Find each of the markers and look at them. Look at me go. Look at my bloody eyeballs. Car park simulator. Vertical axis. No, we don't need to invert controls because I'm using mouse. Your current objective is shown at the top left of the Walk. Screen. I can figure Walk that out. Blue marker to complete the current objective. So we looked at Train Sim World 2 uh, probably a year ago, and I really liked it. There's there's a lot more to it. There's a lot of objectives, um, you know, doing shifts and meeting deadlines and that. So there is a bit of a, an actual sort of sim playthrough component, component to it. Um, some action points. And so this has just come out These now today. In the top right it's on Game Pass as well. Count towards your overall experience level for the game. Yeah, good. I've got a hundred uh, uh, APs. Is one of the many types of root tasks to be discovered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out for many more types and styles of root tasks. Thank you. Involve placing, collecting, or fixing a variety of things. Yeah, very good. Let's fix things. Head into the main building, and you'll continue your induction there. Yeah, induction at reception. Oh, look at this. Very swish. I better, I better sit down and just wait, hey? Better just, just wait for the trainer. You can trainer. pause Train Sim World at any point to review objectives and a lot of other information about... Wonderful. Look at this. Message log. HUD guide. Holy shit. About okay. What's happening at the moment. Let's see if I can remember anything because there's a lot to it. And then return to the game. All right, I'm gone. I'm gone. I've had now my seat. Now have covered some of the basics of moving around and interacting with the environment, let's take a walk through the building and find the train. Jeez, I went to a lot of effort to make this bloody train station whatever the fuck this, this place is, is central square from here you can explore the main training center depot yep. and surrounding yards look at this holy heck you know i'm enjoying my later adult interest in trains and train games and was there a sweet transit that was pretty good as well uh, I, as a kid, I never gave a sh two shits about a train. Uh, no train sets for me or any of that sort of stuff. Your but the, the, these train the video games are pretty cool. Here in the training center. Yeah. Remember, you can always come back here. From oh. Oh. What's going on here? Scarlet Seeks. Look at me. I'm connected to Thingo. All right. Wonderful. Yes. Cool. Performance breakdown. <laughs> Speed limits. <laughs> Continue chapter one. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go. Screen elements. All right. So it's going to tutorialize me a bit, which, you know, it's good. It's a good thing to have because it took me a while to figure out the, the last game. Overlay. Yep. As the heads up display or uh, HUD. That it's is shown when you yep. are in control of a train. That's very granular. It's very anal. Climb up the ladder into the locomotive. Yes. And sit in the seat. Let me in the choo-choo. Climb ladder. All right, so the reticle seems to be the same sort of thing. Welcome to the most important seat in the train. Toilet. While sitting here, you'll be in full control. On oh, my neck. Before oh. you think about moving the train, though, let's look at the HUD overlay that's appeared on the bottom right. Oh, right, the yes. The heads-up display is a guide to what your train is doing. Yep, thank you. The main part of the HUD is the speed display. A yep. white bar will appear around the outside to show your current speed, and the red mark indicates your maximum permitted speed. Yes. Press E to continue. This is the Learn about the speedometer. Way. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Oh my god, really? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the power display. Yeah. The number will indicate what position the power or throttle control is in. Yes. These are the brake indicators. Yes. The exact ones shown will vary by train and will often be visible in the train itself on various gauges. They tell you what's happening in the braking system. The most important one is the BC or brake cylinder. If that's reading zero, then your brakes are released. Anything else and brakes are applied and you won't be able to move. Oh, no good. Okay, sure. Every train can have small variations in the HUD unique to the way it works but they will mostly look the same. Yes. As you learn to control new trains, study the HUD and learn how it helps you operate it. If you want to see this again, you can rerun this training module at any time. No, please no. All right, yeah, cool. Training for my train. 
this is going fairly smoothly. The problem with number two's one, it, which was fairly robust, but it was missing some really major sort of points. In this training module, you're like the entire to like the didn't tell you press a certain button that oh I don't know made the train move. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the train. Yes. Power. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. Yep. The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. Yep. And the horn. The throttle controls oh, how fast close. the train accelerates. Yes, yes, that was my next guess. We want to move the train forwards. So move the reverser in that direction. Yeah, so right clicking to Keep get mouse look, and release I find until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading five bar, pointing upwards. This will release the brakes fully. Automatic brake hold. Apply. Oh. Look at that. Watch the brake cylinder or BC gauge to see it gradually reduced to zero. Ah. Which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train. Baby, baby, let's bloody disco. Apply some throttle to get the some throttle eight. As you apply power, notice the amp bar rising. Yeah. This is the amount of power being fed into the traction motors. Yeah, let's go. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground, and the train will only slow down very gradually. Yes, go. Coast, baby. Max speed, 75 miles per hour. No, 88. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get a, get a bit of fresh air in. Oops, what did I do then? Okay, A and D apparently adjust the throttle. What's W do? Reverse a forward? Oh, let's just leave that alone. While the specifics of operating brakes vary from train to train, What's Q the do? basic process of stopping is AWS acknowledgement. Vigilance pedal. What the Bring fuck? Bring this train to a complete stop by holding the brake control in the apply state until you see the brake pipe control needle in the center of your cab desk showing about four bar. Four bar. All right. The amount of braking you'll need to apply also varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill and how heavy your train is. Yes, look at me go. Four bar of brake pipe control. Allow the locomotive to come to complete stop. Well, fucking let's just jam the brakes, baby. Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling them. Nonsense. Particularly stopping them in the right place. Oh, yeah, yeah. That concludes this module. Yes. Restart the module to learn the steps again, or move on to the next module. More. Give me, give me more. In the words of the warrior poet, Britney Spears. Let's go. Give me, give me more. Give me more, give me, give me more. Changing path. Here we go. This module will go over the fundamentals of operating junctions to change the path your train will take. Good. And how to navigate using the map. Yes. Most rail lines around the world are controlled remotely by a signaling center or dispatcher. Mm -hmm. From the perspective of the train, the direction taken is automatic. <clears throat> right. But within yards and depots, Many small and frequent movements are required. Yes. This makes remote control of the track impractical. In these locations, the direction taken is manually controlled. You can set junctions by either walking up to them and interacting with them, or going to the 2D map and changing them from there. Let's change this junction by hand first. Right. Walk over to it and change it by operating the lever. Notice how the point blades move on the track. Try moving mm. it a few more times until you can see how it works. Oh. <clears throat> Let's head over to the train, and then we can look at the map. 
Okay, so that's gone straight, basically. Very good. Alright. Let's go. Get in the train. Get in the seat. Press 9 to open the map. Alright, I'll switch lever. Your junctions are set correctly. Oh. Let's get the train moving and see it all working. Oh shit! If Hang you on. Can't remember how to make the train start and stop? There is a training module you can rerun to remind yourself. Reverser is forward. Keep the brake control and release until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading five. Yeah, whatever. I've got this. Watch the brake cylinder or BC gauge to see it gradually reduced to zero, which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train. Yeah, we we moving, baby. Let's put it back on throttle. Now that you've reached your target One. speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. Nah. The train will then coast on level ground, and the train oh, will. Oh, fifty six. Apparently, I'm going too fast. Gradually. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting a little red. I'm redlining. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's hope we don't derail, eh? Train's making a lot of cranky Bring this noises. Train to a complete stop by holding the brake control in the apply state until you see the brake pipe control needle in the center of your cab desk showing about. Or I could just do that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Your speed, speed limit. Mate, I'm all about results. Where next? Is that it? That, that's the entire training package, is it? All right, here we go. That's fine. I don't want any more. To the trains. Train depot. Tra choose a route. Rail ex journeys. Guided experience. Jump straight in. Uh, what's a rail journey? That sounds cool. Training center. Oh, hang on. Completed. Sort by newest to oldest. Maybe there are no... no oh, okay. Train depot. Training modules, scenarios, timetable. All right, what's this? Choose route. Okay. Now give me this. Timetable. Jump into a lifelike timetable. Last play. The class 6-6. Six, six. Oh, we got America. We got Germany. Give me this. The BNSF. Official, personal, created. Give me the official one. Oh look at look at this! I've got a level or some something or other. Yeah, yeah. Total. Hang on. Total services completed. Now, what happens if I go back out and I go choose route? Ah, oh, you have XP associated with the route. Well, how about we go the K John Pass? Right? So, holy, holy dooly. Look at all this. Services completed. Let's go. On foot. No, give me, give me the car. Oh my god, what is this? Select a service. Continue this intermodal train from Victorville to San Bernardino. Yes, that sounds perfect, actually. Sounds like exactly what I want. Uh, d do I know what's going on? I do not. But there is a lot. And that is cool. There is stuff to do. I could have gone on foot. I suppose I have to hijack my own train if I go on foot. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, where's this? This snow sitting. That's cool. Okay, hang on. Continue this train. Yeah, yes. Get started. All right. Here we bloody go. Hello, Andrea. My favourite sidekick. Let's get let's get a bit of air in here, all right? Let's let's get a bit going. All right, all right. Map not available. Okay. Uh, uh. What does tab do? Contact signal air. Proceed as signals indicate. Okay. Uh, throttle is idle. Dyna oh, a dynamic brake. I'm used to this. Automatic brake. Independent. Oh no. Hang on, I might have to... Emergency... 
Horn. Alerter. Sand. Ah, oh, we don't need that. What do these buttons do? Horn. <laughs> Use the horn. Window heater off. Oh, shit. Let's, uh... My throttle's locked out. Use the throttle. Well, I don't know if that really counts. Reverse a handle is out. I need to put the handle in. There we go. We're going to put the reverser to forward. Throttle to one. Set the generator field switch on before... Oh my god, I'm having flashbacks here. Headlights. Heater. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. Independent brake. Horn. Oh. Uh, uh, engine run. Generator field on. There we go. Give me throttle now. Set the automatic brake handle to release before applying power. Fuck. Uh. No. Handle. Handle off. Sounds good. Now give it to me. Set the automatic brake handle to release. Oh, that way. Ah. At least it's giving me little widgets saying that I suck. So that's cool. Throttle, baby. Let's go. Oh, shit. Turn the independent brake off. You reckon? Release. Throttle. Dynamic brake off. Go. Go! Fuck this bell. You, why, why aren't you giving me little warnings anymore? I want to go. I want to drive. Brake power. My BP is going down. Whoops. Give me throttle. See, I don't like this. This happened last time I played the other game. Oh my god. And it took me hours of learning to figure out. Attendant call. Attendant, please help me. Even my throttle's broken now. We're not moving. Shit. Well. Well. Options. Main menu. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. We're going to keep doing this video, though. Training. Because you did put me in the training and then cut me loose. Fundamentals. Yeah, we did all that. Exit game. No. No, how do I get out of this fucking screen? Here we go. Training module. I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Because, yeah, there was... There was I, if I recall, the training 
was actually broken in the last train sim game and I had to seek help from the community to even just figure out how to start Welcome the train. To train so this is definitely better, but it's still got some fucking Today, problems. you'll be learning how to drive this EMD SD40-2 locomotive in BNSF railway livery. Yeah. The SD40-2 started production in 1972. Oh my god, they've given me Grandpa the Simpson. I set the toaster to three. Rated at 3,000 horsepower and weighing at brown. least 170 tons, the SD40-2 is rated with a continuous tractive effort of 831,000 pounds. Over 4,000 SD40-2 locomotives were produced I mean, by EMD. Look, if you're a sweat lord for trains, then I'm so glad that this exists for you. That's wonderful. Years after. They but I, I just want to get in the car and go. Here we go. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard. Yep. Climb up the steps. Here we go. Here we bloody go, boys. This is a different train again. Oh. Wait, he wants me to go down the front. Let me cross. Let, let me... Let me cross! Cross over. Oh, they fuck uh, me. Sit in the engineer's seat. All right, let's go. Now you'll go through the steps needed to take over this locomotive. Yes. Firstly, you will need to set the generator field switch. This needs to be enabled for the throttle to control the power Done. of the train. This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before operation. Done. Uh, the reverser determines the direction of travel. Forward. Now switch the front headlights on. Oh. Regardless of the time of day or weather, all locomotives must have their headlights on. I mean, step lights, gauge lights, set the headlights to bright. Oh no, I've made the thing again. Shut up. Headlights. Bright. There you go. Headlights set to bright, game. Game. It literally says set the headlights to bright, and I've set them. Why is there a picture of the throttle? I'm going to put the throttle on, because fuck it. Wait, what's this? Headlights front. Headlights rear. Oh my god. There you go. When getting moving, it's worth remembering the following sequence. Oops. Independent on, auto off. Throttle on, independent off. Let's go through that slowly and understand why. The First, am I here? fully apply oh, how the is that? brake. Oh, this shit. To ensure that regardless of anything else, your train won't move. Oh, shit. Full application. Next. Fully release the automatic brake. This will release the brakes on the rest of the train, but you won't go anywhere because those independent brakes are holding you. Yeah, of course. Now <laughs> apply a small amount of throttle and verify that power is generated. So how come this is train is moving and the other time it wasn't? Set the throttle to two. There you go, mate. Finally, release the independent brake and you'll start moving. Let's go. This is a great practice to get used to because it'll help you with two key areas. Whoa. The first is that you verify that the train will take power before you release the brakes. Yeah. You don't want to find yourself without power and having to hurriedly put the brakes back on. No. Uh, the second is that having power applied as you release the independent brakes ensures that you won't roll backwards right no of course for hill starts you may even need to start with more power 
And this is something you can practice and get used to as you find yourself out on the railroad. Yeah, okay, mate. If you have any locomotives on the rear of the train behind freight cars, you can press the banking comms button to enable radio communications with those remote units. This will ensure that they operate their throttle and brakes in unison with your own locomotive, giving you much needed extra control on your journey. Okay. Uh, press it now, just to get practice, even though there aren't any connected. Banking comms. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Yes. Look at me go. Coasting along. Set the throttle to off. Come to a stop in the indicated position using the independent brake. Independent brakes apply only to the locomotives in the formation and are much faster to apply and release than the automatic brake. Hang on, I'm running out of track. On the entire train. Oh shit. Stop. Fuck it. That'll work. Change direction with a the reverser. Then change the junction indicated. Either by walking over to it or using the map. I'll bloody walk over there. Don't you worry about that, my friend. Don't you worry about that. There we Before go. proceeding, check the two couplers are in the right position to allow for automatic coupling. Look at the rear coupler on your train and ensure it's open. Okay. Operate the cut bar if it is closed to release it. Check the old knuckle. Next, walk over to the freight cars you're going to couple to and check their coupler knuckle is open too. Operate the cut bar here to open the knuckle. 100 meters. No, fuck that. I'm driving up there. I'm driving up there. And then I'll walk, and then I'll go inspect the bloody doodak. Oops. Let's go. Dynamic break off. Release, release. I guess my BC is dropping. Fuck. Right. Let's re-engage all that. I guess, uh... I guess I've been outsmarted by the game. That's right. I'm not very bright, so that's not a very difficult task. good. I've worked on my train driver physique all these years, you know? And here I am doing cardio. Can't have that. I wonder why the track turns red. Probably the game saying, don't stand on the track, you will die. Alright. Hang on. Hang on. Cut bar. Released. Before coupling cars, always check the knuckles are open. Yeah. Or you'll just bounce right off. Oh, mate, he got a good chuckle out of that one. All right. 
sit in the engineer's seat. I'm on my way. I guess maybe I braked a little bit late. It wouldn't be such a walking distance if I was a bit more efficient. Oh. Now, game, will you explain what it is that I did wrong? I hope it wasn't just arbitrarily stopping me from moving. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right. Okay. The junction is correctly aligned and the cars are ready to couple. Correct. A couple up to the cars by gently driving into them at a slow speed. The most freight uses automatic knuckle couplers, so they will automatically couple once they connect. Yeah, okay, set throttle to one to get moving. Yeah, my BC's coming down. Dynamic brakes off. Engine run, generator fields on. Cut off valve. Oh no, hang on. It's not this, is it? No, BP's gone up. Don't do that. God damn it, so there's something go I'm having absolute flashbacks. I'm not generating amps, which is interesting. Really, game? You're gonna fuck me like this, are ya? Well, hang on. At least the brake pressure's released on that. God damn it. Yeah. I'm I'm missing a step. My reverser is in reverse. Straight up flashbacks, boys. Ah. God damn it. Break off. Handle off. Could be that. Could be handle off. Now let's try that. Yeah, and no, I see the thing is. I've got throttle, but I'm not. It's not generating any amps. I don't know why that is. That's very unusual. It's not doing it forward either. Yeah. Fuck. All right, I might have to investigate this. Yeah, something. 
something is awry. And I feel like uh, it's not my fault that the game hasn't actually explained to me. It's Mr. Step again. Now, hey, look, I'll take the L if, uh, if there's something going on here that I've missed. Dead Man's Pedal. But, um, I, I truly think that there's something missing in here that I don't understand. That's alright. We can, we can chip away at this over time if, uh, if people are so interested. But anyway, look. Train Sim 3. Train Sim World 3. It's more trains. Is it going to convert you? Probably not. It's probably... But if you're a sweat, it's probably, uh, got all the little tweaks and upgrades that you want. But at the very least, know that there's a cool game in here. It is obtuse explaining itself, even though I've got a bit of experience from figuring out how to start everything in the previous game, it still seems to be missing some steps. However, I might be overlooking something, but I feel like maybe I'm not in this particular case. Um, yeah, so user friendly, not not particularly, not not beginner friendly, but. Uh, there is still still very much a rich and deep game here if you're willing to put the hours in. Anyway, let me know if you want to see some more team. We'll figure it out. Uh, otherwise, I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.